Yay, cream porn star in the house. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling. Just look at the camera <laughs> and say, hi, I'm Rosin DeVoe. <laughs> hi, I'm Rosin DeVoe. What makes me queer is a lot of things. For me, queer is, it's more than the sex I have and it's more than the person that is beside me. Um, it's, it's the way I live my life. I'm femme identified. Um, which I believe to be very based in queerness and the queer lifestyle. And, and I think that's, that's pretty much my definition of being queer, is being femme. Um, it's a really invisible place to be, and being queer is an outlier. You know, kind of, you're, 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 you're standing on the edge, no one really sees you, and then being femme on top of that, it's a very interesting space to live in. So, I, I wear it proudly. I got into queer porn very, very long time ago. Back in 2006, I shot my first scene with Pink and White Productions um, when I was living in San Francisco. I met Sid Blackovich and Jiz Lee. And I was in their film, Super Freak? Yeah. Um, so that was kind of like my, like, you know, nosedive in queer porn. And then it was just a slippery, sexy slope from there. <laughs> Downhill. <laughs> Aside from the monetary aspect of making queer porn, because it is work, it, it is considered at least under my definition of sex work. I make queer porn because frankly I fucking love it. There's something so artistic about taking a very personal experience and placing it before a very subjective viewpoint which is the camera lens. And at the same time, having that lens be an eye to an unknown audience and having to delicately acknowledge it, but at the same time, be the, the biggest performer you could ever be. And the amazing thing is, is that the performance is completely with your body. And I love that. I love performing with my body. I love dancing, I love stripping, doing burlesque, like, uh, you know, anything. Even just sitting still, there's a performance. And so being able to utilize my body in that medium is really super exciting. But it's really just fun. Like, I, you know, I, and, you know, I don't make porn that often. It's not my main, um, it's not my main source of income. So I actually really, I have the privilege to choose what I do, when I do. I don't necessarily always have the benefit of choosing who I do, but so far who I do or have done has been awesome, so I'm not terribly, I'm not voicing any you know, objections. So I'm just, I'm really grateful and I feel really lucky that I can choose to do queer porn and that choice is mine, and that choice is very much based in the fact that I love it. Awesome. You totally helped build it, so it's great that you love it. The most amazing thing is it's, it's brought me my best friends. I'm lucky in a weird way because I've had sex with all of my best friends, but I, it's brought me these really super close personal relationships. When you work on set with someone, when you shoot a scene with someone, whether the director or co-star, it's an intimate relationship. You are creating an intimate space, and that product goes off into the world. It's like creating a small little love child. So you do that enough, and you build really solid relationships. And I'm lucky to have a lot of those. So that's what it's brought me. During my scenes, 
I have the ability to, you know, assert my queerness or my feminist or my, you know, the, the, the combination of the two in a very vivid way. I feel extremely privileged that I can carry myself the way that I look. I have tattoos and I have piercings and I can work in mainstream and I can work in queer porn and I can look the same. And that is amazing that I can walk into a queer porn set and I used to have purple hair. And I can walk into a queer porn set with purple hair and I can walk into a mainstream set with purple hair and still be welcomed to fuck the way I want to fuck, which is another thing that I like to do, that nothing is orchestrated. Like, when I start fucking, that's how I fuck. That's how I have sex. And that's what I'm presenting to the world. And I think that that presentation is the realest piece that I can give to the camera and to the audience outside of my really awesome outfits and like <laughs> cool jewelry. Um, <laughs> So, you know, those two things combined are such a blessing and such a privilege that I, ha I have that opportunity.